Welcome back to Gatabud. This is the start of my Zelda Echoes of Wisdom coverage, and this is the stuff I recommend you do before you attempt the first dungeon. Our first piece of heart is a can't miss when you're fresh out of the slammer. Uh, just jump up right here, and you can use the wooden box echo to cross the water. Easy money. In the beach cave, we find our second one already, and you know, you might be thinking boulder with these boxes. You need a little bit of gravity though. I was kind of hoping a boulder would just fall through all of them. But you gotta bring it back by holding this button. Do it three times. Then come down here. Maybe later in the game there's better tools to use, but the boulder works early game. In Suthorn Village, there is a store. And we've got a piece of heart for sale here for 80 rupees. If you need help making some money, there is a treasure chest right outside here with 50 rupees in it if you just run over here when you first exited the um whatever it is we just got out of use the table and this has 50 in it right here and then you can just cut grass like the good old fashioned days. One thing my son missed in the village is this trampoline right here in Suthorn Village. This is super useful and you're gonna use it a lot. After the village in Suthorn Forest, we have a cave and I recommend that you get this spear moblin first. He's very helpful. The spear moblins just running around right outside the cave. I've already got them. But you see the piece of heart there. The reason why the spear guy's good is he can take out the rabbit. The rabbit's actually pretty annoying. So I just use all three of them. Let them throw spears. And now we can learn this one. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. I'm a dyslexic redneck, so no pronunciation from me. And that rabbit does exactly what you thought it would do. It breaks the boxes. And now you can just jump from thing to thing, and there you go. Fourth piece of heart before we enter our first rift, so major milestone there. In the Suthorn Forest, we have a cave, and this is going to have our first fairy bottle. You gotta throw rocks at this guy right here, or he's gonna light you on fire. And just got this game, so my aim's still a little off. Got him. This echo's really important and useful. because now you can obviously light things on fire. So just dropping one of these dudes is gonna wreak absolute havoc right there. But what we wanna do is use the Echo to open the door. And we have this treasure chest. You got the bottle. 
There's one last thing you need to do before going in the first dungeon in the Suthorn Forest. This is kind of easy to miss. There's a cave right here, and you already have this fire uh, Ignazol from getting the fairy bottle. You can learn this torch as well, but we're going to go in here and we're going to get a very overpowered echo that's going to be like a cheat code in this first dungeon. So, I actually had to hop on my son's playthrough right now to show him this. But just keep dropping these. This thing is very vulnerable to fire. And that's why this cave exists, to learn this. There's nothing else in here, but this thing is awesome. And you're going to want to set it, basically set and forget in here. As far as combat goes, this thing will take care of you in the entire first dungeon and is even super useful on the boss. So highly recommend this. Now you have a fourth heart, you have a fairy bottle, and you have this super OP echo to help you with the first dungeon. You are good to go. I am going to include my boss battle from the first dungeon in case you're having trouble with that. If you don't want spoilers, I will see you again in the next video, and I thank you for tuning in to Gatabun. What's going on, everybody? We got the first boss in Zelda Echoes of Wisdom right now. If you don't like spoilers, click away now. We've got a Talus enemy, and let me tell you what, this thing is an echo you can find right outside the rift in a cave. And it is an absolute cheat code for the entire dungeon, but including this boss. You just send it in. Look at it go. And it helps you really conserve your uh, sword meter. And then its weak spot goes into an arm right there. So you want to try to just get it right there. I mean, I've got a full sword meter now, so I'm just going to go for it. You jump and hit Y. And then make sure to go out of it to keep it conserved. And you can actually get it to hit the head. It's just kind of hard to do. Mashed. It's over, baby. Let's go. That's how you beat the first boss in Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. For everything Zelda, stay tuned to Gatabud.